Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Let us start this lecture with a thought process, excellence can only be achieved through ceaseless and mindful energetic actions. And uh, in the last lecture we are talking about equilibrium compositions and how we will have to attain the equilibrium which is important for life also, so also for chemical equilibrium. What we did, we took some examples. Now, we today we will be looking at how systematically you can do, right. So, uh, can anybody recall how we can develop a procedure for determining equilibrium composition, right. In the, in the previous example, I have given, what is that? 1 mole of O2 is going to O. Let us say I will take a system methane and air, right. And I know, okay, let us say equivalence ratio 1 and let us say some temperature 1000 Kelvin and atmospheric pressure 1 atmospheric pressure. Then how I will find out equilibrium composition? What I will have to do? Are you getting? In the example, what I took is a very simple problem. It is given everything almost you can say. But here, how we will do? That means, a question might be coming to your mind, uh, what are the spaces which will be there at equilibrium? Is that question coming to your mind or not? See, what are the, what are the spaces <coughs> will be there? Is it only CO2 and water and nitrogen? No, certainly no. There will be n number of spaces, you know, like you can say CS3, CH, CS2, COH, OH, H water, carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide, nitrogen, NOx, like NO, NO2, I mean n number of things, right. That means, I love to identify the certain species, which may be important for my calculation, okay. How to uh, identify is an art, okay. And also, what is your requirement? Art means, definitely you have to choose, let us say for methane system, carbon dioxide, you will have to choose yes or no, you will have to choose water, you will have to choose nitrogen right for methane air system. There is no doubt about it, I mean absolutely no doubt, but you will have to choose CO naturally and H, OH right, HO2, CS3, CS2 because CH4 is there, na? so therefore these are things will be supposed to be there. And there are several other spaces, whatever you want, you can choose, right. That means, first I will have to identify probable equilibrium spaces, right, okay. And then after identifying that, I will have to identify the equilibrium reaction schemes, you know, that is very important, right how to choose and other things also very important because whatever is known you will have to choose for which the data is available you know for example, the Gibbs free energy then you will be choose. Then find out equilibrium constant right because I will have to find out what is that Kp and strike a balance for elemental conservation right and strike overall mass conservation and then solve all the equations you know by iterative method, uh, you, I can give example, one example in newton raphson method, there might be several other numerical methods are available, right. A question might be coming to your mind, why we will do that, because just now we solved in an example, which is a quadratic equation, you know very easy to do that, right. If quadratic equation comes, whether we will solve, if it is and keep in mind that is the only one equation, right. So, therefore, you know quadratic equation you do and although it is non-linear, right, but still you can solve that. Now, to illustrate this point, I will take an example, 
right in this example 3 moles of hydrogen are reacting with 1 moles of oxygen at 1000 Kelvin and pressure 1 atmosphere. And what you will do determine equilibrium products right. So, if you look at what is happening, I am saying 3 moles of hydrogen reacting with 1 moles of oxygen going to the products right. Of course, what will be the product? Hmm? What will be the product? That means, first I will have to step 1 is what? Step 1, if you look at step 1 is identify the specific probable species at equilibrium. So, what are those species? Definitely N S 2 right, mm -hmm, sorry, okay, N S 2 right, then definitely will be oxygen, then N water, what else? O or I can say H right N H H right plus N O O plus N O H O H right. Let us say we will take this number of species ok. Let us say I can take any more numbers also right, but this case you know these are the probable O H is basically how many species are there? If you look at hydrogen is 1 right and this is 2, this is 3, H is 4, this is 5, this is 6 right. Okay. Now, step 2 is what? Step 2 identify equilibrium reactions. So, when we are considering, we will be considering what is the elementary reactions, okay, possible elementary reactions. What do you mean by elementary reaction might be, you know, a question might be coming to your mind, right, where you know number of bond will be broken or formed is very less, right that we call it, I will be uh, discussing that little. So, let us consider because we are getting H right and I can say that H 2 is going to 2 H right. Similarly, I can say O 2 can going to 2 O and H plus O going to O H and S 2 plus O going to S 2 O. So, this is basically equation 1, this is 2, this is 3, this is 4 right. Are you getting? So, that means all species are coming here or not? H is coming, O is coming, S 2 is coming, O 2 is coming total 4 and O H is coming 5 and S 2 total 6 species are involved in that. That means, I do not need any further chemical you know reaction to be considered for this finding out for com equilibrium composition right. And step 3 is what? You know like find out equilibrium constant. So, what we will do? We will basically find out equilibrium constant. So, for example, if I say for equation 1, I will say this is k p 1 for equation 1 I am saying k p 1 what it would be 
it will be x I can write down x h to square x h 2 this will be p by p naught what will be 2 minus 1 is not it. If you look at the formula I derived for your uh, arbitrary reactions right it will be you can use that or you can use the terms of partial pressure and then convert that any one of them. So, in this example p is p is what 1 atmospheric pressure and this p naught or I can say this is p atmospheric pressure right that means this will be always 1 this will be always 1 in this example are you getting that means p by p a is 1 in this example is equal to x h square by x h 2 right can I not say 1 is equal to what e right delta g t not divided by r u t. So, I can write down 2 g h right t not minus this will be 1. So, g h 2 t not divided by r u t and these are known I can get from the table corresponding to what corresponding to this temperature 1000 Kelvin. That means, these values are known R u is known T is known right T is equal to 1000 Kelvin right and from table I can get these values ok. I will not do that right, but I, I can get. So, let us say this is my equation 5 right. Similarly, I can find out K p 2 will be <coughs> x O 2 by x sorry x o o means uh, uh, atom o atom square divided by x o 2 is equal to similar way should I write down or let me write down next I will not write down ok minus 2 g not t or I should be bracket minus g o 2 t not Similarly, x p 3 x o h right by x h x o this I can say this is 6 this is 7 because this will be known right this value is known this value is known because I know these values. So, I know k p 2 similarly k p 3 is also known yes or no are you not getting k p 3 is nothing but from the delta g dot t naught divided by r u t. So, I am getting this g uh, of the species at particular temperature from the table. So, therefore, k p 3 is known and k p 4 x s 2 o x s 2 x o yes or no. So, this is your 8. Now, if you look at basically 5, 6, 7, 8 equations are there through total 4 equations. How many unknowns? Unknown 6 equations till now 4. That means, I need to have 2 more equation to solve this thing. Yes or no? Right. So, then we will have to go for the step 4 we will have to go to the step 4 and step 5 to get another 2 equations right. So, step 4 right is it step 4 strike an elemental balance right. that elemental balance uh, if you look at uh, moles of you know elements we will have to do. What are the elements are involved in this reactions? 
what are the elements h and o right so let me write down also what we did that is 3s2 plus o2 going to n s2 s2 plus n o2 o2 plus n water water plus n h h plus n o o plus n o h or oh, this is looks to be actually n huh? okay this is n not eta and o h so given if you look at what are the total number of h moles are given n h if i say n h is the total moles of h is equal to what 6 because 3 moles of hydrogen right 6 and n o total moles of o is 3 is it 3 or 2 because 1 mole of oxygen right it is 2 so we will have to do a <laughs> elemental balance right so what i will do h what is that if you look at right what i will be doing 2 ns2 right 2 ns2 right plus where is that here plus 2 ns2o because it is there right and then because left hand this is uh, we are looking at the product side okay right and then this will be nh only one is there then it will be n oh is equal to what nh yes or no total number of moles in the product should be same as whatever there in reactant similarly o i will get 2 n o2 right and n water because this is 1 o in the product and this is 0 because there is no o and in this case it will be n o plus this will be n o h is equal to n o right let us say this is equation a this is b what I will say I will just divide it right should I divide what I will get if I divide that means n h by n o I know and then I will find it but these are in the moles but I need to express in terms of mole fraction so that what I will have to do I will have to divide this equation with n total total number of moles right and if I divide by this all through together right n total similarly n total divided by n total what I will get I will get 2 x s 2 plus 2 x water plus x h plus x o h is equal to n h by n total similarly from this expression I can get 2 x o 2 plus x water plus x o plus x o h is equal to n h by n total if I say this is c and d now I will divide c by right dividing equation c by equation d we will get what is that 2 x h 2 plus 2 x 
S2O plus XH plus XOH divided by 2XO2 X plus XO plus XOH is equal to NH by this will be NO. Okay. There is an error here NO in equation D NO and total total cancel it out. This will be equation 9. Now, right? Because this is known, NH is known or not? NO is known. So, therefore, I mean these are unknown and you will have to evaluate. And what will I do now? Step 5. Right? Close the equations. Basically, you will have to balance. What is that? Summation of mole fraction equal to 1. Right? Because these are 5 equations and 6 unknown. So, we will have to close that equation. For that, we will have to do this. And this is equal to x s 2 plus x o 2 plus x water plus x h x o plus x o h is equal to 1. This is 10. That means, if you look at right, these equations has to be solved like equation equations what is that 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10 are to be solved simultaneously. Right. See, if it is linear equation, you know how to solve, okay. but if it is non-linear <laughs> equation, it will be difficult. Why it is non-linear equation? Can anybody tell me? Why? You will have to go back to the equation 5 and 6. See, if you look at this is x h square, x o square, right, and x h x o, right. So, therefore, these are non-linear. So, for that solve right the equations are non linear in nature, non linear in nature. Hence, iterative techniques, right, iterative techniques like uh, numerical methods can be used and the one is you can say Newton Raphson method can be used right. So, if you look at it is not that easy to really do this you are talking about if the temperature is known and the equivalence ratio or the fuel air ratio is known, then you are finding out compositions, right. Now, imagine in adiabatic temperature is not known, temperature is not known. When you are talking about fuel air mixture, you do know the temperature, you do not know. Now, how we will have to get this composition? These are all interlinked because temperature is dependent on, on this composition. Why? Because Gibbs free energy is dependent on the temperature. And this gives free energy that K p values will be different because gives free energy different. So, K p values will be different. So, therefore, the composition will be different. Are you getting? Now, you will have to do that. How will do? It is a very difficult thing and then you will have to do iteratively. Now, we are going to see how we are going to do that. We will have to determine how to devise a procedure for determining equilibrium compositions that means, mole fraction of spaces and also at the temperature, both are interlinked. Okay. So, I will just tell you the procedure given that pressure is given and the unburned temperature is given. It need not to be 298 Kelvin, it may be 600, it may be 500, whatever it may be, right. It may be 298 Kelvin and fuel oxygen types, whether it is hydrogen air, methane air or propane air or propane oxygen or kerosene oxygen, you know like that is to be also known, otherwise you cannot do and what is the fuel oxidizer ratio has to be given. Is that clear? This has to be given. 
Now, what you will do? You will have to assume a adiabatic temperature because we have already seen in the last procedure that temperature should be known, then only I can find out combustion. So, I will assume a T adiabatic temperature. Then compute the equilibrium combustion at a particular pressure and adiabatic temperature that we have already seen how we will have to do that iteratively. Okay. That is also iterative. This is a iteration inside iteration, you know, you will have to do that now. Okay. So, then what you will do? You will estimate the adiabatic temperature by this is your sensible enthalpy, right? This is your sensible enthalpy of the product and this is the sensible enthalpy of the reactant. Are you getting? of reactants. This is sensible enthalpy of product. Product of involving various species, N i will be you know various species it can be you know uh, if it is a product it will be if I take consider methane that might be 20 spaces or the 10 space at least you know 15 spaces kind of things right. So, now and the, if it is a reactant of course, if it is a methane air only uh, methane, oxygen, nitrogen right reactant will be easier to handle, but product will be several of them. Now, once you uh, this thing because you have already find out combustion that means, you know this n i right or in terms of moles uh, fractions then you can do very easily and uh, this is nothing but your heat of reaction, this is heat of reaction at STP right. And then by this you will find out T adiabatic because you will have to integrate, keep in mind this C p is a function of temperature right, that you will have to plug in and then integrate, that integration is not that easy, the way we did the example is not the way <laughs> ok, there you will have to integrate because the various temperature range you will have to use different C p values, I had uh, shown that I think right. And then you will have to find it. now if this T adiabatic right, whatever you calculate right, this is the calculated one, calculated from here, from this you will get T adiabatic. And minus T adiabatic gas, let us say you guess something 2000 Kelvin, now you are getting 2400 let us say, that means this is uh, not acceptable. If it is a small value, let us say 1 percent error, right, then you will say accept. Let us say if it is uh, the assumed value is 2400, but the, uh, ac the calculated value is 2410 Kelvin, then we okay, fine, because this is okay, you can, you need not to go again, it, it will be stopped. Otherwise, what you will have to do? you will have to find out a new adiabatic temperature that is equal T adiabatic alpha into T adiabatic minus T adiabatic right. And this alpha is basically the under relaxation parameter, then you will go back to here and again calculate right the because this is a new adiabatic temperature, then again co compute the composition, again go through this all this process till you get this error, this is your error ok this error is the acceptable error, error right. As I told it is 1 percent you are happy fine, if you are as happy with the 0 0.05 percent right, you will have to go on doing that, that means it is the iteration in between iteration, this is a quite complex. Are you getting the point? Okay. So, now let us look at the you know if you do this calculation the for a meth propane air system at different equivalence ratio you will get different things right. For example, uh, equivalence ratio 1 you will get you know water here and then uh, CO2 this label if I take this one right. And of course, nitrogen divided by this is not changing much right, you will get CO values here and oxygen here, hydrogen here right, even if one at different at each side you will get different values, similarly you will get different values you know like keep in mind that this corresponding to adiabatic temperature you are getting maximum temperature you will get 2278 Kelvin, phi is equal to 1.05 and this corresponding to 298 Kelvin and 1 atmosphere pressure. 
and these are all major species okay these are all major species not radicals and other things so we will be now seeing if you do this kind of thing you will get various values like you know hydrogen oh o no <laughs> o values all those values you will get now for that you can use you know several softwares which are available like mkin nasa ca and cantera and i i was told this nasa ca basically is a free softwares these are all you will have to buy chemkin and cantera is are free where you can use matlab python kind of things you know it is a plug in you can plug in the thing you do programming in there there are several other softwares also available in internet you please explore and find out so that we can you know use this thing right thank you very much